Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of GTA. Today we're going to be customizing this, the, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, I know it. The Sklagen GT? I don't know. Um, it's based off of a Mercedes AMG. Really man? Just, yeah everyone come down this road when I'm ready to make a video. Yeah, it's based off a uh, Mercedes AMG uh, GT and a uh, what's it called? Um, BMW Z4. Or uh, just gonna take a quick little walk around. Actually, here let me go back into first so y'all are able to actually see the the front. Oh jeez, come on, look down, man. The front here is based off of the uh, BMW uh, Z4, and the rest of it is just heavily mod mod modeled after the uh, GT. So yeah, just that little tidbit there. Let me open this door. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'll just use the uh, vehicle options to do it because I was trying to get it so that way it would open so we were able to see there you go there's a nice little inside view I don't know what the interior looks like because I don't really stop and look at the interior of different vehicles um, so yeah I uh, <laughs> it's kind of what I do I just kind of go and I hang on I can probably get a closer view hang on here we go. So yeah, this is the interior view. Um, I'll probably hang on. Let me actually get in the car to. Get, you're gonna get, get. There you go. Sounds good. Sounds really good. <laughs> we had a dog bark. Of course, I think they're always barking. Dang it! Thought it was cool because I made a dog park, but guess not. I hate the kind of people that let their dog out all the time. Now I wonder, is it rear engine or is it, you know, front engine? Oh. Oh wow! Look at that! Hang on, I'll, uh, me. Eh. And then... Oops, that's the trunk. Wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Look at the uh, design in that. That looks... Let me go... Come on, first person. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the little... Uh... That looks like a little badge right there. I don't really know if that's what that's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like. Very... Very nice, uh, under the hood kind of design they've got here. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Alright, let's take this on over to the LS Customs. Which, surprisingly, is not too far from here. Well, it's a drive, but it's not insanely far, like across the map, like Beaker's Garage or anything like that. It's right over here. See? So we don't got that far of a drive. Watch, I'll be saying that now, and then, like, later on, I'll be like, I HATE THIS GAME! <laughs> That's how it's gonna go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so out of here, we're making a le uh, right, and then up ahead, we're gonna make a left. Okay. Hey, I'll see. Stop calling me. Definitely quick. <laughs> I would have made this into a live stream, but since I'm just customizing it, it would be a really short live stream, so. Yeah, uh, that's it. it uh, 
was I even gonna say? Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's why you guys got a video instead of a live stream. I gotta look at the map. Okay, yeah, we're still going the right way. So how you guys been? You know, it's uh, been since yesterday since I put up a video. You know, I figured I'd check in, see how everyone's doing. Doing good? That's good. And if you're doing not so good, do you want to talk about it? <laughs> um, I, uh, I haven't exactly been doing all that great because I had pulled a muscle in my leg and so every time I go to sleep and wake up I forget about it so whenever I stand up I end up straightening both legs and it's in my right leg and it hurts like a like a uh, well pulled muscle <laughs> so yeah that's, uh, that's how my days have been going and I think it's been like this ever since last Monday so You know. That sun is right in my eye and it hurts. <laughs> so at any point in this video you guys hear me kind of stretch and kind of go ow, that's, that's what that is. What miracle did you want me to perform? All right. <sighs> Armor all the way up. Brakes all the way up. Bumpers, front bumper. Let's see what we got. Uh, hang on a sec. Sorry about that. I uh, forgot to put up my signs so that my grandmother knew I was making a video. Alright, let's see what other bumper options we got. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna slide this forward so I can actually read some of these. Because I know I got some visually impaired viewers out there who are probably not gonna see this, but I figure I'd read it just in case they do, you know. Be somewhat decent. Alright, so we got primary front splitter. Right, hang on, let me start at the very top. Hang on. Eh. We got carbon extend extend extender. There we go. 
primary extender, secondary extender, hang on a sec. There we go. Uh, race splitter. Primary race splitter. Secondary race splitter. Competition splitter. Primary competition splitter. Secondary competition splitter. Now we're back to stock. I think I'm gonna go with uh, this one because it looks, I'm gonna go with the uh, primary extended, extender, extend, I don't know. And I'm going with it because it kind of completes the front end right there. So it doesn't look like, you know, someone just kind of took their foot, le left it, on, put it on the front bumper and tried to like crawl into the hood <laughs> and the front bumper kind of tore off because of them doing that uh rear bumper i wish i could rev the engine to get rid of all this smoke but we're probably going to go with the same thing the uh primary vented uh yeah we'll just go with the same primary in the back Uh, chassis upgrade. Um, racing seats. Racing seats with dial styles. Racing seats with primary cage. Racing seats with secondary cage. I think because I picked primary for the front and rear splitters, I'm going to go with this primary one uh, for the roll cage because, you know, again, I, I picked, um, <sighs> second, I <sighs> forget it, whatever. Again, I, I can't. I like this location for the convenience, but I don't like it because I can't rev up the engine, so... Kinda gotta go based on what it says here. Triple rear exhaust. Racing side exhaust. Which means it goes out there. And that's it. I don't... I don't like that, personally. But if you like it, you know, more power to you. All race side exhaust. Is that putting it on both sides? It looks like it doesn't. Uh, competition side exhaust. Again, if you're gonna do this on one side, you might as well do it on the on all sides. So I'm probably just gonna go with something simple like this. Of course, it doesn't rev it enough where you're actually able to see it, but you know that's is what it is. Oh yeah, hang on. Um, it's either I can't. Hang on, I can't see what that says. It's either all or <laughs> eight or air. I can't. Oh, air grill. Double air grill. Classic grill with carbon Icon 
and then there's classic grill with primary icon I think that's actually the icon for for Mercedes I can't really tell and then secondary uh, it's a grill with the uh, secondary thing so we're gonna go with that because again front bumpers pretty much, the front and rear bumpers and including the body style are pretty much gonna be primary so might as well make it something cool sport vented which puts the two vents by the windshield um, sport vents carbon which is basically just a carbon oh what how am I even it looks like the whole hood is just vents <laughs> like just about the whole hood racing vents that puts the uh, that puts like vents like triangular vents closer to the front of the hood which makes this thing look more like the Voltic which is another car I will be customizing later on uh, we're gonna skip over the race vents carbon because that's basically the same thing but it, you know it's not round vent or round vents puts two rectangular vents up by the windshield and one half circle vent closer to the front of the of the engine bay uh just gonna yeah uh okay so alt round vent and it's basically the same thing we saw before um I don't even know how to describe this one. Uh, it's kind of like the car's got v got vents going all the way down the hood. <laughs> We're just gonna stick with the carbon hood because I, I don't really like putting vents on anything unless if it's something that is worth putting vents on. Um, liveries, let's see what they got. Oh, this ought to be interesting. I can't spin it all the way around. Oh, it's got the same uh, roll bar. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say it's got the same kind of roll bar style as the uh, Coquette, which is a different car that I've had before. Uh, this just puts a red stripe going down one side of the vehicle, which would which the name of it is... Hang on. Uh, Well, red stripe but they're like multiple red stripes going down the one side and then white stripes basically just that but white and then ah oh, jeez I can't <coughs> uh no mosaic mosaic splash Ew. okay so it's just Basically a whole bunch of colors going down the side roof and it's basically yellow uh, a little bit of red orange on the roof looks like and white on going towards the hood does not look good actually love muscle uh, basically puts like a heart with muscle on it uh, on the on the hood, uh, that's on the hood. And then on the side, it has the number 105 in a white rectangle. And then behind that, it has the same thing that's on the hood, except smaller. On the roof, it's uh, it it um, I can't even tell what that even is. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. I don't even know how to describe this one. Or that one. There's a lot of this that I'm not going to know how to describe. Uh, yeah. If anyone, if, uh, here, I'll go back and, if anyone cited wants to describe some of these in the comments, that'd be perfect, because I have no clue how to describe any of these. 
but I will take a minute, you know, let you kind of get a chance to see it all. Um, yeah, so this is, this is the, that was the Caring, Turing Cove uh, Blue. And then we have Turing Cove Purple. Um, looks more like a light blue to me, but eh, you know. Rim Paint Blue. Sheesh, you'd almost have to paint this like a pinkish in order to finish out the rest of that uh, livery. Like a black? I don't know. Oh. Eh. Yeah, it doesn't exactly, you know, kind of... I guess you could paint it like a black and it would match up, but it wouldn't... You probably have to paint it like an orange, make it look kind of good. And there's the black that I was talking about. <laughs> huh. It's almost like Rockstar is watching. Which is a little creepy. That looks like... I'm not going to lie, that actually looks like a little kid just kind of threw colors all over it. And they were told to add a little white into it, so they just kind of threw white into it. I don't know. I'm terrible at, at describing things, and I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Like, I really apologize... Apologize for it. That looks like a B, but... In the words of the famous song, I will not sing because of copyright. I will let you people, you know, kind of mutter it to yourselves. But, you know. And then we're back to normal. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the red. If they had left it where it was just the hood, it would be kind of... Eh, I don't know. They could have a livery that would be like, you know, blood splatter or something like that. That'd be... That would look kind of cool on this. Mirrors. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh... Uh... I'm just gonna leave those the way they are. Plates. Uh, I have custom plates made. And I think for this, I'm gonna put a uh, slick and do it uh, yellow on. Oh, jeez, I can't even. You can't even see the plate. What the hell? Yeah. So we'll do yellow on black. Just because it looks cool. Um, we will be doing primary. We're going to go matte, uh, matte black with this one. And... Oh. Hang on a sec. Those mirrors got to get changed. Otherwise, it's going to look really ugly. Uh... Primary, yep, that's what we'll go with. Uh, this... Primary... That... That looks pretty good. I really like it. Um, yeah. And then this will get... And then the secondary will get changed to like a... Red, so that way it looks... Uh, red. Wait. Huh? Eh? Oh! Is, where's the roll cage? Is it changing? Yeah, it changed. Okay, yeah. So that's what I'll go with for that. Interior, we're also going to go with the red because there's not enough red on this to kind of balance it all out. There we go. And then... Let's see. Roof. There's secondary roof, which would be a little much, to be fair, because we've got red interior, red roll cage, and red emblem. 
or not red emblem, but red, um, what's we call it? I can't think of what it's called. Uh, hang on. Carbon roof. Primary alt roof. Secondary alt roof. And then carbon alt roof. What, what's the difference between the alt? Like, I don't get that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Not sell, because we don't want to sell it right away. Uh, hmm. Wow. Alrighty. We've got a lot of options. <laughs> um, well, not a lot. Like, holy moly, that's a lot. But we do have quite a few options. And I will end up going with the one that makes it look the lowest. I got a feeling. Alright. So, we've got... Primary extended skirt, which I can't really, I think, yeah, looks like it's practically touching the ground. Then we have secondary extended, which I was right, it is fairly close to the ground. Looks like there's not much space between the ground and the bottom of the skirt there. Then we have carbon extended s skirt. Oh, jeez. We have primary race skirt. And then we have secondary race skirt, which I think I'm going to go with the secondary option. Uh, spoiler, hang on a sec, I want to head out and make sure I have enough money to be able to afford these next few upgrades. I think I should, but, you know, you never know. Oh yeah, we got 200,000 left. Knowing my luck, it'll probably all cost me that exact amount and I'll be poor again. <laughs> Today. There we go. Alright, we were down here at... Excuse me. We are down here at... Uh, spoiler. <laughs> Alright, so we have... No spoiler, which we're not going to go with because spoilers add traction. And traction means we get to look cool. <laughs> uh, small spoiler... Street spoiler. Carbon street spoiler. Carbon race spoiler. Wow. <laughs> uh, primary race spoiler. Secondary race spoiler. Carbon big wing. Primary big wing. Se uh, secondary big wing. And they weren't lying when they said big wing. Holy moly. Uh, we're gonna go with the... Uh, secondary race wing because it's not insanely big but it does at least make the car look somewhat good um hang on a sec I gotta oh okay all right so yeah that's what we're gonna go with excuse me again man uh, suspension we're going to go with the lowest one we got. There we go. Transmission. 
We're gonna go with so let's say 50 grand. Wow. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go with that one. And then we're gonna get this. Which is turbo. And then we're gonna be changing out these tires to... Which one's the cheapest? I don't remember which one has the rims and tires that I like. Uh... Oh, these. Yeah. I like these because it because they have very few spokes. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna head over here to give it a test run. Which thankfully isn't too far, so I've got very little room to kind of damage the vehicle. We're taking it over to the airstrip to give it a good like speed run and see how fast it is. From what I'm guessing based on what I've seen I'm just like tapping it every now and then and holding it and then letting it kind of go like speed for a little bit. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be pretty quick. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're not going to launch it this first time, but we are going to be pretty much gassing it. That is quick. Holy smokes, that is quick. Alright. So, now we're gonna turn back and head back in the direction. So, that way we are able to get back on the uh, airstrip. And we're gonna send it this time, but in the opposite direction. So, that way we are able to get back on the road and I can start heading back home after this video ends. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hey! Leave me alone, Ron. I don't care. <laughs> That's something I really hope they change about GTA 6 is the freaking calling time for these people. It's so annoying.
All right. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. This thing's uh, it's pretty quick. <laughs> I'm very, very satisfied with my uh, with my purchase of this uh, of this car, and uh, thankfully, hang on, let me let me get it pulled up on the uh, internet here. Thankfully, for this week up until tomorrow, it is. Hang on, yeah, it's right here. It's uh, it's on sale for seven hundred and seven hundred and eighty grand. So yeah, you get this, and you're pretty much getting a car that usually costs like one point three million. So you're you know you're getting pretty pretty good uh, deals there. Um, hmm. One thing I am pretty disappointed in about it is that. When you're shifting gears, the turbo doesn't exactly, like, spool for every gear like in any other car. But, I mean, for 780 grand, what what are you gonna do? I mean, you can't, you know, you can't really have too much of a complaint for it, because it is, again, 780 grand, and it's a pretty decent car for... Can you let me do my outro game, please? <laughs> it is a pretty good car for 780 grand. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you are watching this, if you're watching this in the future, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, have a nice uh, have a nice day.